Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with us play last stream on the PC. Last time, we finished up at the Eastern or Southern Magi Tower, one of the Magi Towers, and got the second part of the Staff of Sorrow and Folly, so we could go ahead and go to the Well of Souls, I do believe, and actually beat the game. However, we still have stuff to do out in the main world, primarily getting to the Adamantium crafting gear. So last, uh, maybe not last episode, but the episode before last, we came to the Molo races and I failed at the intermediate race and eventually gave up and this guy right here said he would steal it for the tidy sum of 2.5 million gold. However, I didn't realize that if you beat the beginner race, he bumps his price down to a billion gold. And if you beat the intermediate race, he bumps his price down to 500,000 gold. So that's actually pretty damn nice. I beat the beginner race pretty easily, and then I was able to actually beat the intermediate race. So yeah, now he'll sell it to a, he'll do it for 500,000 gold right there. It took me a few tries, but I finally got the intermediate race. And we could try to do the master race or the, the final race. And you know what? We'll try that right now. But... I'm going to tell you right now that I tried it once off screen and it's not likely. Alright, so let's go ahead and get ready here. And this race is very long. I mean, we might get lucky and get it, but I highly doubt it. So get prepared for button mashing here. Okay, 65, that's usually what I get. Okay, now here's the part that sucks. Yeah, you gotta do this like 10 times or some shit like that. So, I, I, not like 10 different segments, it's just there's a lot of button prompts here. And when I tried it on the practice, I kept messing it up and some stuff wasn't, some stuff wasn't counting. But we're doing okay right now, actually. The main thing is that they don't put the... They don't put the controller buttons on the... On the screen for some reason. But yeah, see, here we gotta do this again. And then there's one section, I think, with... The... The accuracy minigame. Okay, we're not doing actually too bad here. I messed up on these a lot in the one practice that I did. Okay. Alright, we got that. And... I think my, my finger slipped. I'm not going to get 60, I don't think. Okay, I barely got it. Cool, awesome. See, there's just too many of these sections right here for this, I think. Like, way too many. I can't tell if we're in second place or third place. I don't know if there's uh, somebody ahead of us besides this green dude right here. Alright, let's go. Yeah, there's just too many of these right here, I think. But that's just my opinion. Maybe some other people really like this part of the game. I don't know. It's just not something that I'm digging. Maybe if you had, like, a button mashing controller, you could get, like, 100 presses right there and actually do pretty good. But so far, no luck here. Okay, so we might be close to... Actually, we might be in first place right now, I think. We just have to get really lucky... Okay, we're actually doing good. Perfect. Please don't tell me I won this on my first try, because that'd be great. There might still be some guy in front of us, though. Oh, we actually got first place. Wow. Okay, that's awesome, but it also kind of sucks, because... Okay, we got the Moa races. Awesome. I'll take it. I was not expecting to get that. 
I was expecting to maybe try like two or three times off screen here and then just fail miserably. But we got the Thor's hammer. Nice. I don't know what we get for for winning afterwards, but oh well. What do you say now? Uh, Thor's hammer. Well, damn. Okay. So, there we go. Cool. Amazing. You excelled all sections of the Master Race. Speed, agility, and balance. Mighty impressive. Thank you. I've never been so happy in my life. Blah, blah, blah. I think that guy's just cleaning. Oh, you won the Master Mobile Race. Can you teach me your secrets? Uh, yes. Be very careful. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? Damn it, game. Oh, okay, I thought I thought it was actually going to make me, like, redo the race. Thanks, do I move it up to the Master Race? I still haven't been able to place first, but I have faith that with practice I will. Please take these as a sign of my appreciation. Large potion and medium magic potion. Okay, cool. Anyways, what I did off screen was I grinded up some money and some levels. So, as we can see, I have 2,721,772 gold. And I'm also level 70 for everybody. So, I spent... Let's see, we're at 116 hours. So, my previous save slot was... 102 hours. But, most, but pretty much that entire time was spent in fast forward. So, it's more like 8 hours, not the actual 14 that it's saying here. So, maybe 7 hours or something like that. But I spent a bunch of time fishing, so I got the money for it. Then I realized that you could just make it 500000 but I still had all the money anyways. And I went ahead and fished with the Master Rod for the healing stuff. So I got I got the Whale Sharks, the Leviathans, the Squids. Not, not as much of the Leviathans and Squids. And I also got the Resurrection Fish here, which is really nice. Tilapia, I don't really care as much right there. And then for combat, we also got the... The white croaker, which you get with the the perfect bait at five percent, and yeah, it acts like a buff for all your stats. I'm assuming that actually means magic defense plus fifty, not magic defense minus fifty up there, but I'm not sure. I also spent some time with uh, just the other fishing stuff, the the cold water and the fresh water regular, in order to get more to get more. Uh, elemental fish because I think like stuff like spiny eel would actually do pretty good damage single target I think and I also got more of the the stat fishes as well so we're gonna be doing that and let's go ahead and actually spend our skill points here let's go ahead and get dancing daggers here steals from all enemies to 200% damage 75 MP cost very nice it looks like actually I don't know why is that I don't know why it's saying it looks like it might have initiative since it has that little that little purple thing right there. No? Oh, base damage. Okay. I don't know. But either way, let's grab that. 50,000. And Ninja is mastered. Awesome. Let's go ahead and pop a slot there. Oh yeah, as we gain more levels, we got more slots. I think 12 or 14 is the maximum for physical fighters, like the Thief, the Warrior, and the Engineer. But I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We have two more slots. Let's go ahead and put... Silent Strike in case we need it. Which we probably won't. And... Yeah, I guess Backstab. Why not? Actually, no, we don't need Backstab because we have like perfect crit chance. Uh, just regular Healing Steal for minor healing, I guess. There you go. Alright, Sid. We're going to go ahead and learn your Megaton Explosion. Which, 100 MP cost, and, okay, there we go. Okay, so it is the damage there. 1,250 base damage, nice. And, yes, scales off of intellect, so this will do tons of damage. Let's see, compared to... Well, wherever it is. Oh, ICBM, 250 plus 4. So yeah, it's going to do way more damage, I'm pretty sure, like, by a fair amount, so that'll be real nice. And we can go ahead and put that's ready in. Okay, fair enough. Let's just go ahead and get, well, the only two skills we have left for you, dude. There you go. And Ivory, you're going to go ahead and get Divine Intervention, resurrects, resurrects all dead allies with full HP. Very nice. 
No initiative, but you know what? We can deal with that, so let's grab that. And 20 slots is, I believe, the maximum for mage characters, so that's fine right there. However, I want to do a couple things here, and let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and take off Heal 4, since we have Heaven's Breath, which is more than fine right there. Get rid of Regen, because 100 HP per round is not that much when we buff up with all our fish, so goodbye. Uh, let's see. And... Trying to decide. Trying to decide if I want to take off life 3 right there. 200 versus 400. He yeah, has extra MP, but it's not really that bad. So yeah, let's go ahead and take off life 3. We'll still have the fast life if we need it. And the reason why I want to take some of these slots off is because I did a little bit of testing off screen. And it turns out that I may have realized this earlier, but just forgot about it. But I checked it and made sure it worked. The stuff like Bubble Giant, that stuff, it all stacks. So we could do Citadel, we could do Giant, and then we could do Bubble, and then we could do the rest, the rest of them, and then we could do the fish and the potions, and we just have a ton more HP. So that'll just be really nice. So yeah, those are all the ones we got right there. And I think we should be okay now. So you're all set. Awesome. You, you're going to go ahead and learn Annihilation. 2500 HP, 9 elemental damage to one enemy. So really good for bosses compared to like Implosion. So that'll be really nice. And you cost 300 MP versus 100 MP. But you know what? I can deal with that. Perfect. And then... Let's go ahead and put you back on Darkness 7. I was using that for for leveling, which I'll show you the way that I leveled momentarily here. And let's go ahead and get rid of... Uh... Oh, by the way, I also checked that if to see if... The spell that the White Mage has that prevents instant KOs works with Kamikaze. It does not, so, oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Implosion. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll just go with... Wherever it went. Annihilation. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. That's perfect. And we're all set here. I'm not going to get our level ups right now. I want to go check out the Adamantium gear and see... What we're gonna get i do have a general idea of what i want to get because we have 2300 for each character and i have a general idea of how i want to spend it but i'm not going to get it right away i want to check out the adamantium gear and see what extra stats those gears will have on it so that'll be nice right there anyways as for leveling i set the game to very easy and i leveled up in several places one up on the overworld here where some pretty powerful monsters appear and the other area was over in the mines of Divergar where stuff like Kali's servants appear because we need those for synthesizing I'm pretty sure and then also I went to the underwater underwater labyrinth in order to get some remains from those guys uh, those guys also are also on the open sea but I figured might as well go there because the battle seemed more common there and then also went to the eastern and northern Magi Towers and did, uh, let's see, one of them I did the Trial of Perseverance, which had Phoenix enemies. They only spawned in the first time, and I got those guys for their, their drops in case we needed them. And then I also went to the Trial of Faith of the other one and fought a bunch of enemies in there. Mainly it was... Mutated lynxes and mutant dragons that we hadn't got any drops from and I wanted to get some of those So just to make sure I have a nice selection of drops for upcoming synthesizing here and the way that I did this was Okay, what I did was I took everybody out of the party here except for whoever I was leveling and Then I gave them the experience ring the main reason for that is because you would just end up getting like 20 or 30 percent of a level sometimes even as much as 50 percent of a level just from one battle and it was 
beautiful. So yeah, let's just get into a battle here. Obviously set it to grind. So on very easy, they're gonna die pretty much really easy like. So even to like smoke smoke bombs here. Bye bye. We are in 6,000 experience. That gave us what 20 20 something percent right there of our experience right there. And some of the battles in like the underwater lab or the under underwater palace or whatever or some of the other areas, they would give you like six or seven small enemies. And you'd get like 14,000, 15,000 experience, which is really nice. So I was tempted to, I was tempted to go up to level 80, but I'll, I figure I'll do that if I need to grind out for more stuff later. But as it was, I figured level 70 was good enough here. And then if you don't want to spend the spend the MP as much, or if you run out of MP and don't feel like healing, then I went ahead and bought various various bombs because the fish are only single target so I got the black void bombs for just everywhere that wasn't the underwater stuff and then I got sonic boom bombs for the underwater stuff and it worked out pretty good and that's how I that's how I leveled with the white mage because she doesn't have any damaging stuff except for her holy spells and those heal other enemies so that worked out pretty good they're a little expensive but not too bad and honestly if you just need enough money to buy the the bombs you can probably just head over to the casino for a few minutes and do the button mashing game there and you'll probably have enough to buy what you need after five minutes or so even if you're not terribly good at it but they give you 10 seconds as opposed to five in the chocobo race so i was able to get 100 points each time which is 25,000 gold each time but yeah obviously i had everything on automatic fast forward for fishing and leveling and stuff and it worked out pretty good so it took me like i said pretty decent amount of time mainly the fishing the battle the battles were nice and easy i mean just one shot everything pretty much and i'll go back to legendary mode when we start our next dungeon or whatever but the fishing just took a while i tried finding programs that would like auto press keys just to make it less monotonous and all the ones that i found don't work in games unfortunately because if i could if i had done that i could have just set it to the fishing for for like uh, every five or six I think, I think I fast forward, it's every, you catch a fish every three seconds, so you'd press the button press to press A or Z on the keyboard twice every three seconds, uh, twice as if, as, as if it comes up with a no, no bites, because then you gotta get past that dialogue in order to do the fishing again. But yeah, I, would, I was trying to find something like that, but no luck unfortunately, so, oh well. So what I did instead was I just minimized the window, put it in the top corner, and watched YouTube videos or something on the right side of my screen while I did, did the other stuff on the left side, and it worked out pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that experience ring. Uh, they do not stack, unfortunately. I tried, but they don't. And yeah, you could have done, you could have done, uh, what is it, two characters at once, or heck, even everybody at once, but I was pretty much fine with... Uh, the way I had it, simply for the fact that, well, it worked out pretty good. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just like seeing the experience go up 30 or 40 or 50 percent per battle instead of like 10 or 15 percent or something. I don't know. It just worked out better that way, in my opinion. All right, let's get our party back and let's go to Brucker the, Lon the Lonely Dwarf. Uh,. Let's just set it to standard right now. Okay, to keep it on very easy for the moment, in case I decide to... In case we get there and they're like, Oh, you need way more materials or whatever, and I'm just going to have to go do all that crap. But I'll put it back as soon as we get to more stuff. Oh, I'm at the party thing right here. There we go. But yeah, I don't mind setting the grinding stuff to very easy because, well, it's just monotonous and stuff like that. Oh, by the way. If you happen to be, if you happen to be grinding over at the mines at Avergar, there's actually a very nice little thing that happens here. So let's say you're going out with your black mage or something, using all your MP, and you don't feel like spending the five thousand gold at the inn here in town, or heck, you don't even feel like spending the five hundred gold here, but you don't want to fight them, fight the guards because you don't have any MP. Well. 
just go straight left from the mines that have regard the entrance from the town or whatever. And eventually, just going straight left, you'll end up right here. And this is that fishing village where you can go in here, talk to the wife, and she'll let you heal for free. So there you go. Especially on fast forward, it takes like four seconds to get over here. So that worked out pretty well for me. Granted, I ended up using fish for easier MP management after I ran out of MP on like stabbers for the most part. But either way, it works. Anyways, uh, Brocker's Cave is... Alright, down there. Okay, so we need to go right about here. And somewhere right about here, I think. Eh, close. Okay. Alright, and we got plenty of stuff for you there, Brock. Let's get to it. Oh, wasn't there another dude here with you? No? Amazing, the, fam the, the famed hammer of Thor. This will do much better than my previous hammer. I can synthesize whatever you want with this hammer. Give Thor's hammer to Brocker? Yes. Thanks very much. Let me know what you want me to synthesize. Now, I'm, I'm hoping that he only synthesizes adamantium stuff, because that way I don't have to go through like all the other crap, but we'll see. Oh, wait. What did he say? Okay, good. He only works on adamantium recipes. Awesome. Okay, uh, we need Saint's Gloves, which we have. Let's see here. These give defense and intellect. That's really nice. But they need 10 Cali Servant's Hearts per. Okay. Yeah, that gives plenty of defense and intellect right there. Oh, and they grant half MP cost. Ooh, that's really nice. Okay. Uh, let's immediately grab those then. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing a bit more grinding then since they want so much of this other stuff here. Like, that's a lot of Callie's serving stuff. I, she's not, she's not the, she's not the rarest spawn, but she's also not the most common. Okay, so we want three of these, and they are, how much do they cost? 300,000 gold? Jeez, these are expensive. Okay. That's actually way more expensive than I realized. Okay, we do want three of these. Oh, wait, why is this... Oh, they're only costing 25,000. Is that saying how much they're going to sell for? Probably. Okay, so three Venner's gloves. Awesome. Venner shoes. We need... Well, stuff that we already have, so that's fine. Uh, oh, they grant automatic HP recovery. Let's see here. Oh, and actually, those give those give good for everybody, actually. Now, let me see. Banner boots, 22 defense, 29 agility. It looks like these, these are better overall than the... than the Banner boots. So I just gotta buy another pair of Saints shoes. Okay. That's fine. I don't have Saints shoes on you, do I? No, I've had Amantium shoes. Okay. Okay, so what else we got here? Veneer Gauntlets. We need Adamantium Gauntlets. And that gives 30 attack, 30 defense, and a ton of accuracy. Ooh, they grant double experience gain. That's nice. I like that. That's some good stuff right there. There we go. Veneer Boots. Oh, they prevent critical attacks. Yeah, that's not bad, but I think I still prefer the... HP recovery. Incorruptible armor. Resists all status effects. Ooh, that's perfect. I'm taking that right now. Whirlwind robe. We need a saint robe, and that gives minus intellect. But we're getting so much intellect from the other thing that I'm not sure if that's really that big of a deal, actually, here. I'll think about that one. This gives attack power. So we're definitely going to grab that. Godsend hat. You lose the agility and pre, but it resists all status effects. And again, we're getting the agility and pre from these right here. So I think that'll actually be fine. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's... That's fine by me. Uh, so get rid of you. You. 
you and you. Okay, so we want... I need more Cali Servants hats. Okay, so I'm going to have to get those later for the moment, but that's fine. Yeah, I was hoping that I would have enough stuff for this, but... Yeah, they want way too, they want way too many uh, ingredients, unfortunately. So, oh well. Okay, so... Godstand hat, I need... 30 Cali Servants heart total. Horned helm. I need an adamantium helm, and that increases attack power. I lose the crit, but I think I'll be fine for the most part, actually. Oh, I don't have an adamantium helm. Okay, I have to buy one of those then. Okay, so I need adamantium helm and... Ancient armor, I need more Cali Servant's Hearts, buy two of them. I lose the agility and pre, but we're getting that on other stuff. So, hang on a second, let me actually write down what I need here. Alright, uh... Uh, let's see. Okay, let's say 35 Cali Servant Hearts just to be safe. Uh, Saints Shoes Adamant TM Helm. Okay, that's fine right now. Okay, uh, let's see. Magi robe, we need... Okay, that's fine right there. Uh, let's see... Yeah, we, we have enough for that right there, I think. So get rid of your robes there. Wait, what? Why is this saying... Oh, I didn't buy Magi robes, did I? Okay, looks like I need three Magi robes. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so three Magi robes. Okay, uh, let's see what else we're going to need here. Grand Shield. I might need to get that instead of the Razor Edged Shield. No, actually, that gives it 6 crit. I mean, yeah, we're not going to get the 25 crit or the 28 crit or whatever, but that's actually fine, I think. Let me see here. That's tough. Do I lose the attack power and gain the crit, or do I... I'm going to write down Adamantium Shield. I'm not sure if I'm going to want this or not, though. Okay. Then your hat. That loses the pre. But we we're probably going to get that anyways. Uh, Ancient Helm. Again, that looks like it could be good. I might just have to pump stuff into pre on the level up here. Wait a second, hang on a second. Before I get too far away here, let's see. This ancient helm versus the other helm that I saw. That gives more attack power, this gives more defense, and I lose a crit. Not sure, actually. Genji Sword, that gives... Extra attack power, it's not it's not bad, but I do like the minus defense stuff that we already have. Consecrated Dagger, it deals double damage to the undead, that's not bad. Scorching Axe, which nobody can use. Piercing Bow, which I don't care for. Whip, I don't care for. Excalibur. That's 68 extra attack power right there. I'm tempted to grab that. 
That apparently can possibly inflict instant death, which is nice, but I think I'd rather just go for the extra 68 attack power. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay, so I need more Callie's Servant's Hearts. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Genji Dagger... Odin Spear, that's actually... I wouldn't get the extra 60 attack power, but I'd make up for that crit and stuff that I am missing out otherwise. I might just get get that instead. Dang it. There's too much good stuff. Okay. What are our staffs going to be? Merlin's staff. We need Adamantium staff and even more Cali Service Heart. Jeez, I'm going to be spending forever just on those alone. But that gives a ton of intellect, magic defense, and a little bit of attack power, so... Okay. Three staffs, and... Another, let's just say, 30 Cali Servant's Heart. That's gonna take forever to get, but whatever. Uh, let's see, Warlock's Cloak. We need three Saint's Cloaks. But let's see here. No, I don't think that's gonna work because we have that other cloak we can use, right? Yeah, the Magi robe. Wait. No, that's that's the robe. The other one's a cloak. Saints cloak versus. Okay, I'll probably just buy the three cloaks anyways. Okay, and then... That increases... Let's see, we lose the pre and the crit for Ebony. But if we get this Warlock's Cloak, we can get a ton more intellect, which would be really nice. Or we get this and pump up the defense. So the way I'm looking at it is I either buy stuff that with innate intellect and attack and stuff like that and pump up our defensive stats that they level up, or I buy the defensive stuff and pump up our offensive stats that they level up. I'm not really sure actually. Okay, but either way, let's go ahead and put on the stuff that we already have because that'll be really nice. Uh, let's see, Razor Edge, Shield, that's a nice little upgrade right there. Awesome. I'll take it, Berserk Cow. We did not get anything for you. Even though that has... Oh, that increases crit chance, that's right. Winged Armor, we didn't get anything better, even though this is pretty nice. Oh, actually, we did, never mind. That's right, this is going to be the best one, never mind. Perfect. Arms, we get some Vanir Gauntlets. Double XP gain for the Thief, that's going to be really nice right there. And then boots, did we get... No, we got three of them. So I won't give those to you just yet. But everyone else will get those at the moment. Let's see, quick cloak, we didn't get those yet. Hats, we didn't get those hat yet. Uh, we're going to need the master's robes for now, unfortunately. The Vanir's shoes, so we got HP recovery and half MP cost. That'll be really nice. And then I took off her double her double HP ring when she was leveling, and I think instead of that, I'm gonna give her something closer to the closer to the Quicksilver ring. That way, she has just even better speed because even without it right now, her HP is 1,200, and I do plan on putting a decent amount of HP points into everyone's level up when we get to that. So I think we're just gonna give her the Quicksilver ring. Okay, and Ebony, you get the other same stuff as everybody else there. Okay, cool. Alright, so we didn't get anything done today except for the adamantium stuff. And it looks like off-screen I have some 
Kelly's Servant's Hearts to acquire and some other stuff to buy. So next episode, we will get the last of these, get our level up, which I'll probably be at level 80 by then just because of all the grinding I'm going to have to do. Which is fine because the super bosses, I was looking at their stats and their stats are kind of ridiculous. We might need the extra 10 levels. We'll see. But yeah, next episode, we'll do that and eventually get our way to the end of the game because we're not too far away. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time after a whole bunch of grinding. Have a good night.